Tensions at the present time. Yes. Perfect. The screen is not visible. Yes. Now it says maximize it and start. The time limit is seven minutes for presentation. Uh, this is Mohammad Sakir. Uh, my co-author is uh, Sohida Shanas Parvis and uh, Dr. Abiyam Sohidullah. So our paper title is Towards Smart Hamlet for Motorcyclist uh, Automatic Stress Level Detection Using our Accelerometer Sensor System. So this is the contents uh, we will cover this presentation. Introduction. In the modern world, stress is a common occurrence that alters how people behave and how they physically react in a certain situation. As we can see from the infographics uh, of the motorcycle dealing with stress, a motorcycle can be under stress due to various reasons. Uh, so we have come up with the idea from the, uh, some literature review. Uh, we have used uh, a single accelerometer sensor and the help of machine learning we are, uh, that will automatically detect, uh, detect motorcycle stress level. So these are the, these are the methodology we have followed for our, for, for the, our research. So uh, as you can see in the right side, this is the qualitative assessment of stress. The survey question uh, mainly used for uh, used uh, before and after motorcycle riding. And so the uh, scale is one to three, two is no stress and three to five is stress. So uh, how we uh, collected data? We have collected uh, data from uh, Arduino Uno and uh, ADXL 345 sensor, which is uh, called accelerometer and the related components. So if we can see the left side of the picture, uh, we have incorpor incorporated the sensor in the helmet. And uh, the middle picture is the, the participant who transmitted their data uh, into our system. Uh, so those are the... Uh, Rock signal uh, we have collected from six participants. Uh, uh, so before pre processing of our data, the first step of the pre process is the uh, we use bandpass filter for reducing DC component uh, from the rock raw signal. Uh, Why uh, DC component after DC component reduction, we have uh, uh, we, we have normalized our raw data, uh, then uh, we have uh, we have segmented those data into five seconds five segment, which is called epoch. Uh, uh, by dividing this signal into epoch, it becomes easier to analyze uh, the extract feature from a specific segment of uh, signal. So those are the feature extraction we have uh, utilized <clears throat> to classify our data, to classify uh, our model. Uh, and this, uh, this is the data leveling. As you can see, the, the column is uh, uh, extracted uh, features. and. Uh, if, we, if you can see the left side, uh, there are 39 double. That means there are, uh, as you can see, accelerometer has three axes. So uh, each axis extract 13 features. So there are 39 column here. And we have labeling the data. Uh, how, I, how we could label the data of, we, with the help of qualitative assessment of stress, we have labeled the data. One means uh, this subject has no stress. Uh, and two means this subject has stress. And this is the uh, classification algorithm. The more machine learns uh, through the data providing uh, providing to it, it more accurately it det can detect object or task. For training a machine learning or uh, to ensure the data uh, detection uh, correctly, subclassifier needed to be followed. So there are two major classifier uh, is supervised learning algorithm and unsupervised learning, learning algorithm. In supervised learning algorithm, the data provided to the machine has a known level. Uh, for example, uh, spam message and non-spam message. Uh, through the level data, the machine can predict the future level uh, data on its own. In unsupervising, uh, and these are the supervised learning, uh, learner methods given below. And unsupervised learning, uh, the input not is not level. Therefore, the model needs to be prepared using mathematical process. And some of the unsupervised, unsupervised algorithm are given below. Uh, you know, we have used cross-validation approach uh, because uh, 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 because uh, the cross-validation approach is categorized the data into training and testing. Uh, the test set is predicted using the training data set and uh, the important validate valid, valid, the training set is gained high accuracy. Why, uh, in their first validation has three approach, hold out, default, and leave one subject out. In this research, we are used leave one subject, uh, subject out uh, approach. 
uh, as as we have low data sample, so uh, sample chain and test, so we have used loss of uh, loss of validation. Loss means uh, one subject was extracted from testing, while other subject were used to training. Um, if we give an ex example, uh, we, such as we have six subjects, uh, LOSO will train five subjects for fast iteration and uh, one subject for the test. Uh, this will process every iteration and, uh, and subject one, subject two, and one, subject one, five, six. And this is the SVM model prediction for subject one. This is the training. Uh, uh, and if you can see the right side, uh, the classes is what are one, two, one, and two. One means uh, subject has no stress, two is subject has stress. And uh, cycle is uh, how it predict uh, the model and plus is incorrectly predict. So this is the scatter plot of our is a QSBM, that means quadratic SBM training model. And this is the uh, result. Uh, as you can see, uh, support vector machine SVM has the highest accuracy the overall and uh, F1 score is 91.3 and uh, average accuracy. This is the average accuracy of six participants. So uh, the lowest average accuracy is discriminant analysis DA and uh, 62.5 and 72.7 percent. Uh, so um, this is the subset one cross uh, convolution matrix for quadratic SVM uh, in this table for training set. In this table, uh, eight, 841 positive plus epoch and 1,145 1, uh, negative plus epoch. Additionally, 21, uh, 21 negative plus epoch were incorrectly classified uh, as belonging the, uh, to positive, uh, positive plus epoch. And 31 uh, positive plus epoch were incorrectly uh, classified as belonging to negative plus epoch. So uh, if you can see the testing, uh, those are the same approach we are used. Uh, and the accuracy, uh, we have evaluated this uh, into uh, accuracy, sensitivity, specificity, and F score. Uh, those are the formula we have used. Uh, and those are the key findings of our research. Uh, the key findings of our research is performance of difference classifier. Uh, training accuracy for subject one is 97.7%. Testing accuracy for subject one is 85.7%. Feasibility of stress detection. Falls in unstressed class prediction. If uh, we have, uh, we have, uh, data which has uh, the flaws in honest respect. So the table shows that uh, the test accuracy result of all subjects, the six, six subjects, and the average accuracy is 83.7% and the F score measurement is 91.3%. This is the average, uh, average F score and the each subject uh, accuracy is uh, below in the table. So uh, conclusion, uh, the findings of this study uh, demonstrate that utilize the data, the motorcycle, accelerometer sensor, it is possible to determine whether the uh, user is under stress. For uh, future work and limitation as follows, combining psychological data and other models like video, audio, and facial eye tools uh, will be introduced in this research. And three class such as low, medium, high stress condition can be introduced, and also uh, brand new feature extraction technique can be introduced uh, further in this research. And uh, last but not the least, the system can be usable in real time user. That, that in that instance, uh, the motorcycle rider will wear our system while riding, and if he is under uh, a lot of stress, our system will will be able to detect it. Uh, our system will immediately uh, alert the motorcycle that they are in, in a stressful situation uh, and that you should drive slowly to prevent an accident. So the, this, this will, uh, the further research will be introduced. So thank you. So I have one question, that is supervised and unsupervised learning. Yes, sir. There is the supervised and unsupervised learning, okay. But unsupervised learning algorithm is the mathematical so why, process. Why not, why not unsupervised learning? Uh, what we know we do we don't uh, use because uh, we have uh, uh, literature review that uh, there is a mathematical process of unsupervised learning, and, but uh, supervised learning it mainly used many many researcher in this uh, research. So, we are using the SVM. Okay. Yes, sir, SVM. It's QSVM that is quadrature, I think. SVM is better than every uh, every classifier, as you can see in the result. Why, why, why have not gone for the linear SVM? So, uh, can you please ask question again? Linear SVM. The SVM is the quadratic and linear. Linear is there, no? Why not linear is there, sir. The quadratic SVM is the highest ac accuracy. Uh, 